in today's video, I want to tell you that the onus, the responsibility, the duty, the obligation is on you. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, you may be somebody uh, that is not happy with your life. You know, you may not be happy with your relationship towards the Most High Yah. And another word that you can use for happiness is pleased. Uh, you might not be happy with the state of your marriage. You might not be happy with your wife, your husband, the relationship you have with your, your, your siblings, your parents, you know, you might be uh, unhappy or displeased with, you know, your job, what you do for a living, what you work. But let me tell you something. At the end of the day, the onus is on you. See, Adam and Chua tried to play the blame game. And each of them was dealt a judgment based upon their responsibility in the acts that they took part in. You know? Adam got a judgment for listening to the woman. And the Most High Yah said, you should have been listening to me. The woman got a judgment for talking to Hasatan where she had no business. At the end of the day, your life is what it is. And if you want better, when I say better, I'm not talking about material things, mansions and all of that. If you truly want uh, to be holy, uh, to be righteous, to be set apart, you're going to have to come out from among them. Nobody else is going to hold your hand to do that. The onus is on you. Man, if you have a rebellious wife that uh, can honor the Most High with her lips and tell herself that she's a Proverbs 31, but through lifestyle, through action, through choices, through her speech behind the scenes, she is not. The onus is on you to do something about it. It's the same thing. The onus is on you as a woman. If you are one of these women and you like men ain't, men ain't shit. My husband ain't shit. Well, the onus is on you. At every turn of the word, the Most High Yah gave you an instruction to do something. That's why he says, be a doer of the word, not only a hearer. Therefore, you only deceive yourself. You got to think about this. Work out your salvation. Don't work out nobody else's. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Man, there is a lot of stuff to be learned in a lifetime. Some of it will serve no purpose in righteousness whatsoever. Man, I'm doing a Sabbath day teaching this Saturday at 2 p.m., on carnal wisdom versus Yah's wisdom. And we're gonna talk about it because this is part of the problem where people don't understand uh, the onus is on them, the responsibility, the obligation, the duty is on them. And if you do not get where you want righteously, there's nobody else you can blame because the Most High Yah gave you instructions throughout there. Your health might be shit. Most High Yah gave you some instructions. It's not the doctors. It's not the politicians. It's not your mamas. It's not your daddies. It's not your pastors. Responsibility when the Most High Yah put the onus on you because salvation is yours. Nobody else can't work it out for you. 
I'm telling you, I'm at the point where uh, people that openly rebel against the Most High Yah and, and, and show that they have hatred towards Yah, I hit them with the truth and keep it moving. There's no point in sticking around because at the end of the day, you can be in complete rebellion towards Yah and think you're going to make it into the kingdom. But guess what? If, we, if everybody follows your way of rebellion and everybody makes it in, well, I know for damn sure I'm good. But if you're wrong, well, guess what? Woo, you're going to have them doggone seven time in judgments to doggone pay for. I don't want to be on that side, but the onus is on me coming out from among them. Man, you hear people talking all the time, the government this, they're doing this, they're playing with the food, the fake food and all of this, but guess what? You keep on buying it. Man, I'm driving by a farmland, agricultural land. Where these people plant, all of my neighbors grow gardens, raise livestock, have chickens, the same thing I do. The onus is on you. See, everybody's good at stating their problems, but the onus is on you to find a solution. You might be sitting up here saying, uh, crime is so bad in this city. Man, I saw a report uh, this morning where a woman got shot in the Houston Zoo. And you you see why I don't wanna be around no damn, uh, so, some damn heathens. Some Israelites that operate as heathens. In the world, they call them niggas. Wanna be around, why, why, why would I wanna live in Atlanta? Why would I wanna live in Houston? And ain't nothing but a bunch of uh, niggadom going on. You can't even take your kids to the zoo without these damn thugs and heathens shooting up the zoo. But guess what? If you are uh, 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 tired of seeing this, the onus is on you to do something about it. The onus is on you. You know, if you got a sorry spouse, the word said the sanctified husband sanctifies the unbelieving wife. Nobody talks about how damn much spiritual warfare you're going to experience in doing that same thing the sanctified wife sanctifies the unbelieving husband Woo, man that's some spiritual warfare but guess what you said you love him so keep his precepts keep his commandments the onus is on you everybody got everybody out there can state problems and what's wrong and what's wrong with this and what's wrong with that but how many people have uh the 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 notion to generate solutions, you know, according to righteousness. How many people have the courage, the intestinal fortitude to stomach standing there as you carry out the solution? But guess what? The onus is on you. Man, you have people complaining about minimum wage. Minimum wage is too low. We can't thrive off of it. The onus is on you. You got people out here that won't even uh, won't even think about getting up out of the bed for minimum wage. You sitting around complaining, they found a solution. The onus is on you. That's 100. See, the most high y'all wants you to be 100% accountable for yourself. And if you are in a leadership position, you are accountable for those that are subordinate to you. But the onus is always and has always been on you. You know, a lot of people know that their church teaches rebellion. Their pastor will get up there uh, and, and allow his wife to have a leadership role over saints and people will sit in the congregation and instead of doing something about it, they just sit back and act like uh, they don't see it. But the onus is on you to do something. You don't have to stay in these places. Let me tell you something. Back in the day, man, when I was out, when I was younger, uh, clubbing and partying, I used to hang around heathens and harlots. Why? Because I was fulfilling the lust of my, lust of my flesh. And you wonder why you have certain problems when you hang around heathens and harlots. Trouble always finds you. Tribulation always finds you. But once I came out from among the heathens and the harlots, Man, I got the best sleep at night. Nobody waking me up asking who is this and uh, why is this person doing that? No, no, no. The onus was on me to make the change. 
You know, if you wonder why you got a warped way of thinking and, 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 and righteousness just hasn't soaked in, the onus is on you to seek out the most high Yah's face. The onus is on you to seek out righteous wisdom. Where all these people, they got carnal wisdom. Closer to Yah Ministries kicking this thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.